There are four basic areas of concern in annual cost of ownership. And you can apply this to your car, or if you own a house, you can apply this to your house. It's very typical of uh, life and times when you own any property. First one is depreciation. Now in the world of business, if you have equipment that is making you money, earning you income, but is devaluating because it's wearing out, you get the opportunity to depreciate the value of it on your tax schedule. But it's also something that you have to be able to be ready to pay for over the life of it because eventually it's going to wear out and you're going to have to replace it. So when you figure out your depreciation, it means your equipment is getting worth less and less every year. Unless you're fortunate enough to have an antique that somebody else really wants really bad after the fact. You know, if you bought a 64 and a half Mustang, uh, you, uh, that thing would have appreciated over life just because of the fact that it became a collector's item or a 57 Chevy, you know, or some antique tractor or something like that. But in most cases, they wear out. And as they wear out, they become less valued, obviously, or they become obsolete and they become much less valued. So obsolescence in this day and age, technology is changing the way equipment is run and operated so rapidly that you can have a piece of equipment today that's 10 years from now will be a ghost. Or you can think of uh, the evolution of center pivots in the last 30 years has been phenomenal. You know, they uh, never had a center pivot built until, oh gosh, sometime in the 60s when they really started commercially selling center pivots. And uh, they had guys in space. You know, John Glenn was up in a space orbit before they had a center pivot out there on the market. Give you an idea. Most of the development here in eastern Washington didn't occur until there was a man on the moon. It's 1969 was the year that uh, the first man walked on the moon and a large portion of the center pivot development, probably 90 plus percent of it never occurred till after 1969 here in the state of Washington. So we really are a brand new industry. It's a 30 to 35 year old industry on the center pivot side. And Drip's even more infant than that. Now they've had drip a long time, but for its the real push on drip in the United States, in this part of the world, the Northwest, we really haven't had many acres of drip until the last five years, really. There's been a lot of little acreages being dabbled with, but now it's finally becoming more valuable and uh, people are starting to do more of it.